Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video. It's me and they call me Heat. If this is your first time watching, I'm a music producer of over 10 years and on this channel here, I show producers how to make some of the best boom bap style beats. Yo, so I went digging this week and I got a stack, stack of records and I, you know, I've been kind of going through some of them just, you know, just trying to see what I can, you know, pull out of this, out of this pile. Um, I actually have a record from the Sherwood Singers. Uh, the album is called Only One Life. It's a gospel album. And yeah, uh, I found one. I just found like a little loop. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I wanna record this loop in that I found. Um, so let me play it, you know, let me actually get it recorded in for you guys so you can, you know, hear what, uh, what it sounds like. So let's get into the video. Okay, so I got a little bit of a loop and I'm gonna put in a Serato sample. I'm just gonna mess around. I, I should probably build like a drum pattern up first, but let me just see what I can do as far as the chops go. Got a perfect loop now. Now, I'm about to throw it in Serato sample. So I'm gonna start chopping this boy up. Let me put some drums down real quick, just so that I can have like a bass. So I can still, if I don't like this one, I can still go find some other like samples from the other records right here. So let me just see what I got. Kind of like that kick that I already have. I don't want to go through too many more. I, I like that. I got a, like an idea. 170 seems to be like my tempo that I really love. I don't know, that that range is just so dope. I don't know what it is, but I like that 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 speed. 170 is like 85, you know what I'm saying, BPM. You know, boom bap is usually around like 80, 90 BPM. Um, so I'm, I'm already here, I just work in double time. Good hi-hat pattern right there, just simple, keep it simple. It's not like some knives hitting like something, you know what I'm saying? Might change the snare up. Doesn't really go with the kick that I picked out. Got a good pattern now. Now I just want to see what I can do with the sample. What what does the sample have to offer over these drums? So let me find out.
I like that. Let me uh, quantize this. Make it right. Make it right. Make it right. Right. Make it right. Make it right. Make it right. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quantize that. And I'm going to bounce it down as audio. And then I'm going to do like my own manipulation to the to the actual like uh, sounds. So to make sure that the toms are right, I'm going to bounce them down to straight audio. And then I'm going to uh, drop these bad boys in from there. All right, so I got the toms down. The toms are in there. Everything sounds good now. So the toms are in. Um, now I feel like a crash, maybe um, some type of like a bass line, a bass line. I did use RC20 on the on the toms, uh, the drum break preset, just to give it a little uh, color, obviously retro color, but just to give it a little color, a little oomph to the track, to the, to the toms themselves, make them stand out, but not stand out. You know what I mean? They're kind of in the background, but they're not. So those are good. I like the toms. Now it's time to find other things that can go in percussion wise, as well as putting this bass line in. So I'm gonna find like a good uh, dope plugin for bass. So let me see what synth plugins do I have. I, I know I got the analog lab, so I can mess with the analog lab and see what to, you know, what kind of sounds are in here, what basses are in here. Um, there's a lot of instruments, a lot of uh, sounds in here. So. Got a dope profit base right here. All right, so I got this bass from Arturia or Analog Lab called 80s Bass is what it's called from Arturia uh, Analog Lab 4. I'm gonna drop that in though. Now I do need to tune it a little bit, so I need to go in and kind of do some tuning on it. Cause I feel like it's a little off. It's not tuned correctly. All right, so I had to tune it, make sure that it was fitting with the actual sample. So how I do that is I just go into the plugin, wherever the tune knob is for any of your plugins, and they have a tune knob. Um, sometimes a tune knob in FL Studio on the actual channel strip itself, because you can usually go to like this here, turn this knob here up and down. Sometimes it doesn't correspond with the specific plugin. So that's fine. I just avoid all of that, and I'll go find it in the actual plugin itself. So I use the tune knob, I tuned it down 80% to make sure that it fits. And I go up an octave so that I'm much higher and I can actually hear the frequencies, you know what I mean? So that I can know if it's matching or if it's uh, clashing. If it's clashing, it's out of tune, it's not in tune. If it's not clashing, it's in tune. So I got it in tune, now we're all perfect. Um, I'm gonna put it on the mixer, but I'm about to drop this bass line in here really quick. <laughs> it that's it that's it i don't need to get extravagant with this one this is a very unique uh simple beat and of course i can go in and add like accents to that bass line to just kind of add extra like things to it 
make it do different stuff, make it, you know. Now let's put everything back together, just kind of see where we're at so far. I got it. I got it. I got the open hi hat. Now, you know what's going to sound really great if I can pull this off. I need to find like DJ scratches, like some scratches to put in there. I feel like that's gonna be something. I don't need to put too much extra stuff in there. I feel like this is just for like a dope song, dope MCs on it. And then like for the course, it should be just like, I don't know, like records, you know, like DJ cuts, you know what I'm saying? So I found some scratch effects. I'm so excited. This is gonna be so dope. This is hard, I love this. Now I just need to find like, a, like some vocal like lines to like maybe put in there after the scratch effects but this is what i have for like one of the things just something like that and then i have Hitman. and i have Bucky. you know just some just small little things to like set it off um i probably won't do it all the way through because i want to be able to have like something you know like space for like if a rapper does want to make like a hook or a course to it they can still ride with the course with the scratches in there and it should just be like some type of like background thing and they can like flow with that. But this is what it sounds like with the scratches in there right now. Something simple like that, you know, it's just very simple, not too much. So I wanna put the funky one in there as well. I'm gonna do the same thing though. So I'm gonna drag this down here and I'm going to use the funky as like the last like word funky. yeah so we cooked up some fire boom bat today this is dope I love this this is hard uh you know what I like about this joint is that you know when you add like the extra little just like pieces like the scratches it's just extra little sizzle a little spice that you just put in there to just make it you know what I'm saying? And it just fell together. The, the, the scratches really brought everything together because I, I felt like I needed to add like these other elements and pieces in, like percussion, things like that in. Didn't really need to because the scratches, when you get to that point, it's like, it's just so dope. So I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna end up putting like phrases, you know what I'm saying, sprinkle through that course or whatever to be able to like just have, um, you know, other variances or other variants inside of the, the actual track. So yeah. I hope this inspires somebody to go create today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if this is your first time watching, make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell as well, so that way you don't miss any more videos. And I appreciate everyone joining and watching the video and just vibing out with me today, all right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Please annihilate that thumbs up button for me. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna get up out of here, guys. Uh, if you are a supporter of the channel on Patreon, these sounds are now available for you right now on Patreon, so just go grab them up. Uh, the scratches and all that, I'm gonna give you the full file that I found so that you can like go in and just kind of do your own thing with it. And then, um, you know, the beats and the sounds will be like a separate folder for you available, uh, you know, on Patreon. So be sure to support the channel on Patreon, grab up these sounds today, all right? Yeah, I'm gonna get up out of here. And until next time, everybody, peace.